Hi, I'm Melanie Bertoldi, staff writer and editor for Tastemakers Magazine and tastemakersmag.com. Right now I'm here with Zeke, talented local rapper from the Boston area. We're actually on the set of his new video for Go, a track off of his free EP titled The Sounds of Elevation that you can download online. So we're going to learn a little bit about the man, the legend, of Zeke. <laughs> um, just to get the logistics out of the way, I mean, your EP is kind of explosive. I mean, I really enjoy it and the sounds of elevation, as I take it, after listening to the five tracks, I believe, seven, seven tracks, is something that kind of has this otherworldly quality to it. So let's start out, I don't know where you came from. Did you come from outer space? Where were you born? Maybe what inspired you to start making music like this? Um, I'm from Boston, Pittsburgh, Massachusetts. Um, I'm from Ezekiel. So that's where the moniker came from, just Zeke. Yeah. Do your friends call you that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Um, what about any musical inspirations growing up? What did you listen to? Um, I was younger. I listened to a lot of um, Jay-Z, Kanye West, for a A lot of like I was um, listening to a lot of young artists too. But I I was yeah. What's interesting about Zeke, if you don't know, is that he produces all the tracks that he raps on, which is pretty awesome, especially because the music is great. So, how did you get into production? Is it something that kind of went hand in hand with rapping? Or? Oh, no, um, I started producing music when I was back, back in 14, when I was 14 years old. Um, my father is a musician, so a lot of my Um, if you don't want to ask him, what do you use on your computer? What kind of applications? How do you throw the beats together? Oh, I use I use Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Okay, cool. What's that like? Is it something you can import the sounds into a bigger app, like maybe like a Garage Band? Or? It's slightly like Garage Band, but okay. it's much easier. Okay. Uh, it's real easy to use. It's not hard like Garage Band. Okay. So when you throw it all together and put it in a blender, what do you get? What is your sound? Can you describe it for people who've never been to your show or heard the EP? Um, you'll get, you know, straight hip hop. You'll get a little bit of pop. You get a little bit of rock Um you'll, you'll get something that will make you dance. Like that. Okay. So what were you thinking when you released a Sounds of Elevation for free um, digital download? Uh, instead of maybe charging people yeah. for it or trying to service it to labels? is it? Do you think it's something that's more par for the course among hip-hop artists nowadays? You give out a free mixtape, you get feedback, you gain a following, or do you have other reasons behind it? I mean, that's basically what I want. I want more people to listen to it because um, Early this year, I dropped the mix it all the fun society. Just to let you know, and, you know the days off it. exactly how yeah. I got it go. Too busy discussing life with all kind of goals. I was too busy to get it out of goals. Some of them say that's not like a lot of artists who are out there now. So I wanted this project. I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to bring me. How life like when they got the fucking dough. I feel the pressure, they're trying to keep so up with me. That's why I can see the finish line, passing all my enemies. They get petty, they got me in life that need to be. So that being said, what do you think comes across in the Sounds of Elevation? Like, as a seven track EP, what's the complete package or what do you hope listeners get out of it? You say there's some pop influences and some hip hop, obviously of course, but um, what do you think overall is the message or the sound? That I, like, that I got better. That's why I want them there have to um, to like, say after you listen to it. Like, he got better and you know, I really dig it, so I really like it. Um, and to look forward to a new one. Yeah. Yeah, that's why that's what I was looking forward to. That's mm -hmm. all I wanted to do. 
Where do you get fan feedback from, like locals in the area, or do you have a lot of followers? Um, you have a Twitter handle, you have Facebook, and you have MySpace, which is like, critical nowadays, you know, for artists to have. Yeah. Well, I get it from the feedback from locals, even from the country, like random people just hit me up. What about um, maybe other figures in the industry or your friends that maybe are helping you part of your crew? I don't really know how big your entourage per se is, but where do you get feedback maybe from other musicians? Do you have a mentor or two in your life? Or yeah, what do you think? like before anyone hears it, I, I played my music to my team, my Sumer's team, my Sumer's Boston team. Um, I played to them first to see what they say. So Zeke, you just mentioned an organization called SOS or SOS Boston. Can you clarify for our viewers and readers what is SOS? What does it stand for? What do the people do? SOS Boston stands for Save Us Was Boston. It's a group of my boys who came together to display creativity and art and they're branching out now to collaborate with other artists with video production. First they started off with t-shirts, but now they're going to create videos and get in production. Cool, that's awesome. So they're kind of a resource for uh, local artists or underground artists who need collaborators and need, need a push, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're running out of time here unfortunately with Zeke, but I just want to know that uh, a couple weeks ago I heard from a bunch of people that his performance at the Middle East here in Boston was very live and that's unique in and of itself because the venue is typically one that houses uh, rock acts, rock artists, and of course you're from the hip-hop realm. What can we expect to see as fans, listeners, in the next year? What exciting music are you putting out there? Or what's going on with Zeke? Um, you can expect to see more shows, more music. And look out for that new video that I'm just for shooting go off my EP. Um, Where can we find all this information and get up to date? You can find it on SOSBoston.com. You can find it on my new blog, ZekeIsDope.blogspot.com. Awesome, well, cool. Well, 